There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Proverbs 16:25. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. I thank you, Lord God, for your word and your grace upon this word, for the release of this word out into the out into the atmosphere, spirit and physical. And I just thank you for my brothers and sisters in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. Glory. There is a way that seems right to a man. And right now in my town, I'll just spit it out. There's a, there, there's a way that seems right. And uh, they're trying to figure it out. <laughs> but you got you got people on two sides of the... Uh, of the uh, of the aisle wrestling back and forth for control and um, I don't really need to go into this too much but I've been thinking about this today about how am I going to stand in this you know I, I have to admit that yesterday I probably didn't come across as well as I could have when, when, when I was invited to one of these town council city meetings over the subject that I'm not going to really mention <laughs> At any rate, people locally know what this is, and, and it's real, well, okay, I'll just say it. it's just about marijuana. Okay, my, my stand in it, I'll just let you know what my stand is, I really feel like I probably should do this, is that if you're an adult, <laughs> and you don't have any little kids in the house, if you want to partake in that, you can, and, and you won't get any condemnation from me. Um... I don't really see the difference between it and uh, drinking alcohol or smoking cigarettes. Um, I don't see any good in either one of those things, and I don't see any good in marijuana, but I'm not the guy that has to go around convicting people of their sins. So that's where my stand is, and yesterday I didn't do a, a good job in that stand. I didn't come into agreement, but I didn't exactly sit, take a stand on it. I didn't have time, I was at work, and, and it wouldn't have been the proper place, but still. At any rate, what's been going through my mind is the way that seems right. And, and I'm, and I'm going to take a stand against uh, believers. If, if uh, you, you've ever, if you drink at all, beer, wine, whatever, if you drink the alcohol in any form, then you have no right to come against somebody who smokes marijuana. If you smoke cigarettes, but don't drink, you have no right to come against somebody who smokes marijuana because nicotine is an addictive substance. And if you smoke, you're addicted. Woo! There, I said it. <laughs> okay, now moving on. There are things that seem right to us and our basics that end up bringing death. The power of life and death are in the tongue. And I really think that it behooves us not to try to pull toothpicks out of somebody else's eyes when we have logs in our own. When we have problems in our own lives, let's not try to go after somebody else to deflect the problems in our lives off of ourselves so we can feel better about ourselves rather than working on the things that are within us. I was searching for a word this morning. I was talking to the Lord about it, about the, you know, I was going back and forth. I've been talking about the Lord about this this subject all morning and the Lord I come into my computer room and the Lord said there's a way which seems right and so I knew that was the right the right uh, word for this morning we think things are right but do we check them out against what the Holy Spirit is saying do, do, do we choose to take a neutral stance on certain subjects simply because it's not our business to tell people how to live. <laughs> um, you know, and, and people that are going to go to that city council meeting tonight uh, and begin to beat their chests, they need to check themselves at the door to make sure they're perfectly clean and pure in this thing. <laughs> um, we need to begin to get to the basic of viewing our own walk in the light of Christ, not somebody else's walk. Let's get our eyes off of other people and begin to look at the Lord and allow Him to fill us up with His life, His love, 
His glory and begin to pour that out to other people. Let us begin to do that. Can't we begin to do that? Do we have to always tell people how they have to live? <laughs> Do we need to become like the group of Pharisees who grabbed the adulterous woman and drug her up before Jesus and say, Hey, here's the first stone you cast at Jesus. What did Jesus say? He was without sin. Let him cast the first stone. We need to begin to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling and begin to get our eyes where our eyes need to be fixed. If we begin to walk in love towards people, we're going to see the change. If we try to beat the Ten Commandments into them, if we try to beat the laws into them, are we any better than the world? Are we any better than a religious hypocrite? Aren't we Pharisees that are trying to be clean on the outside but not on the inside? Let's become clean on the inside and let the outside become clean. Let's begin to emulate what Jesus did. He sat with the wine bibbers. He sat in the tavern. He sat with the sinners. And aren't we all there? God is calling us to a greater walk these days. We need to begin to see what God wants to do, not what we want to do, not the way that seems right to us. It's going to bring death. I had this preaching anointing on me for a couple of days. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe something is really stirring in me that that we need to begin to step out and begin to pray into situations. If we don't agree with something, begin to seek God and allow His Spirit to move on that situation like it was the face of the deep. And begin to create life in it. How many people are going to truly become born again if I force my belief system on them? If I step out in faith and I begin to show them the way to life, isn't that more powerful than what I say? Glory. Glory to your name, Lord God. I just want to say thank you for coming to sit with me this morning. You're awesome. And thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace. For the life that you've poured into this word this morning, Lord God. That we would see that what we believe sometimes isn't true. And what we believe sometimes we try to force on people. And when we try to force these things, it brings death. And we need to begin to work out our our own salvation with fear and trembling. And we need to begin to lift up the name of Jesus that men will be drawn unto Him. That we would live quiet and peacefully. That we would release the love of God over those in our sphere of influence. And I thank you for this word this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory. <laughs> Amen. Hey, get along with the Lord. Begin to seek Him. Begin to seek Him. Begin to hear what He is saying. Begin to thank Him for everything He's doing in your life. Just lift your hands and say, I thank you, Lord. I thank you. And let that thanksgiving be turned into praise. Praise to Jesus. Praise to the Father. Praise to the Holy Spirit. And... Step out in faith and become worship. They who worship the Father must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Glory. Glory. Let let the Holy Spirit pluck the strings of your heart. Let Him fill you with His love. Let Him, let him fill you so full that one drop of what He's putting in you splashes on somebody else and brings hope to them. Glory. Glory. Let's cry out. My heart cries out to you. My heart cries out to you. My heart cries out to you. My Lord, my Lord. My heart cries out to you. My heart cries out for you. My heart cries out to you. My Lord, my Lord. My Lord.
heartbeat, in a heartbeat, to the heartbeat of the Father. God's heart beating for you, me, and everybody else, even when we don't think that they're right. Hey, we'll see you. Bye.